business. That's what was promised to him. When he was making so much money for the owner, the owner said, look, dude, I can't, I, I can't give you your own window organization. You're my bread and butter. You make too much money for me directly. So if you guys seen that last video that I made, if you do not, if your dreams are not big enough to accommodate high performers and high achievers, they will leave your company. So my buddy, Jim Palmer, that's all he could do. He, he left the organization and created his own. And now he has a two, $3 million organization right now doing windows. He could have been doing it with the person that he started with and they both would have been making a shitload of money. But because the person did not want the want him to advance to the next level, that high performer decided to open his own organization and now he's his direct competitor instead of working with him. Jim is an excellent communicator and he is an excellent salesman. He writes his own shit, a ticket. So I hope this helps out to you guys, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys have not gone to Vector University, register for my free complimentary workshop. Tip number two will guaranteed, and it's so overlooked, people don't use it. Tip number two will increase your sales. Go to Vector University um, and Vector Sales Academy if you guys wanna register for our online course. We're teaching copywriting, we're teaching communication, marketing, sales. We're giving you what you need that the schools do not teach you. The universities, there's only 100 universities that are teaching sales and communication out of 4,000 in the United States. And you want to know why they have you failing in today's society. Over 50% of people that graduate, it doesn't matter what kind of degree, I don't care if you have an engineering degree, doctoring degree, whatever it is, you will enter sales some part of your life. It is documented. 50% of graduates will go into sales some part of their life but only 100 universities out of 4,000 teach sales. This was done by Harvard Business Review. You guys can look it up yourself. They're setting us up for failure. You understand? They're setting us up for failure. How the F are you not gonna teach me the most precious part of creating a business? What business can survive Come on, look, look at all these businesses. Starbucks, can they survive without sales?